So, the first thing you need to know again, like all the other dancers, is what is the timing? Well, in samba, all you need to know is one, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight. So if you just keep saying that to yourself, or even clap it in here, let's do it that way. One, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight. Keep that in your head. And if, as long as you keep saying that, your feet and your body will do exactly that timing. So now the next thing you need to know is that guys, you will step with your left foot forward on one, and girls, you step backwards on one. And we're gonna keep that pattern alive. One, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight. And without any turn or any adding, all we're gonna do is go forward and back, and we're gonna do a basic samba. Before we go into the routine, I would first like to give you some handful thoughts during the process of the tango. What you really want to do when you get into hold, you always want to bend your knees. The tango is the most bent of all the ballroom dances. So make sure very much into your knees and bend them a lot and you never come up. Now, when we go to the hold, the lady can put her left arm either on the shoulder or under the armpit of the guy. Either way, you could call it tango, but I think it's more comfortable, especially in social dancing, that the lady feels comfortable. So ladies, it is up to you what you want to do with your left hand, underneath the armpit or on top of the shoulder. 